Hey YouTube, uh, as the title says, uh, I'm installing an automatic transfer switch in my RV. I thought I'd throw together a quick video just to see if it could help anybody else with the install. Uh, I didn't get all the footage up front, but right there, that's what it used to look like. There was a box there with a 30 amp receptacle that went back to my generator. Uh, so anytime I wasn't plugged into a pedestal, I had to remember to plug my short cord into that receptacle or when I turn the generator on, nothing would work. Um, so right there, I decided to mount it there because it was, everything was coming in there. I had the short cord, the generator plug. Um, I mounted it sideways because of the way the generator, uh, that's the short cord coming from the main distribution block in the RV. Um, so I chopped the cord off. Uh, that right there is the wire that goes back to the generator. Um, so I wired that in to the generator spot on the automatic transfer switch. I'm going to wire this in to the um, main distribution spot on the transfer switch. And then the short cord is going to come in the bottom um, and wire in. Uh, my old RV had one. This basically allows you to just unplug your cord from the pedestal when you're leaving and throw it in the box and you're good to go. If you were on the road and you need to fire up your generator, everything works. I had a problem of not remembering to plug the cord into that plug because my old RV had one. Most RVs have them. Um, I thought maybe I'd throw this video together just in case somebody else was in my situation and needed to install one. Uh, it was pretty easy to wire up. Uh, the automatic transfer switch has a time delay, 45 seconds right around there, where it allows your generator to stabilize before it throws a load to it. If you're plugged in the pedestal and you want to fire up your generator and use it for a little bit for some reason, like you don't have to run out and unplug your cord. It it'll, uh, doesn't cause any problems. It'll transfer over. So right there, I'm firing up the generator. Obviously, it's in fast-forward mode, but 45 seconds later, the microwave turns off. All right, I hope this helps somebody out. Thanks.